What is up heroes, this is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Celeste Blind. In the last episode, we attempted and completed, albeit with a little bit of struggling, uh, Chapter 7, The Summit Seaside. And in this episode, we're hopefully going to complete the core, Chapter 8 Seaside, which I imagine may be even more difficult than the previous one. I do want to start by saying thank you guys so much for your comments. I really appreciate all the tips, I really appreciate you guys sharing your experiences. I really appreciate you guys sharing an in-depth look at the mechanics that have only been revealed up until this point, not spoiling things that I'm sure will be taught to me by the game itself in the future, um, even recommending some outside resources to learn more about the game um, that I'm really excited to take a look at after I finish it myself. Um, so thank you guys for that, and thank you for the information about the golden strawberries. I will at one point ask about what I need to do for all of the d different golden strawberries, how many there are, etc., and really determine whether or not I want to give them all a go. You guys saw how I was frustrated with the strawberry collecting in the first place, having to replay a lot of what I've already done. And I don't know if I would enjoy going for a lot of the golden strawberries um, because it would involve replaying a lot of segments I'm already familiar with just needing to do so without dying in one spurt. And, well, last episode I talked about, right, the balance between, uh, you know, short individualized challenges versus long sequences of mini challenges and uh, the associated balance between um, reward, challenge, and, and frustration, and tedium, so we'll see. But enough talking, let's head into Chapter 8, The Core's Seaside. Wow, that is quite the counter there. We've got them all. So here we go. Jump. Okay, so it looks like if I, I can kind of like, slide, what? What? <laughs> oh my goodness! This has been a mechanic all along? Holy cow! That's crazy! I can't, I can't even believe that there's like, look at that! That's always been there and I just never ran into it. Wow, unbelievable, cool. It, it it reminds me of the, the like I forget what it's called, like the crouch jump or whatever from Super Mario 64, where if you like, cr well, hit the Z button and then A at the same time, will like propel himself forward. Regardless, so what do we have going on here? We've got quite the long room ahead of us, and it's not the final room. Okay, I didn't think so. Planning what's coming up ahead. Um, we're gonna need to jump on the top of this fire block, bounce over, and then fall, use both of our dashes to cling onto this on the right, fling over to the right, fall onto that, jump up and over, cling onto this onto the right, fly through that gap, regain our dash, use our dash there, fall, use our dash again to trigger that switch, land on the bumper, then bumper over to the right, make our way on top of this bumper, then bumper over to the right again, and then up, and then hit that switch one more time, I believe. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, but either way, try and get to the wall at that point. So, wow, all right, we got, a, we got an obstacle ahead of us, that's for sure. Let's give it a go. <laughs> nice. It's been a minute since I've used these blocks, but they're, they're familiar enough, whoa got a lot more boost out of that than I was expecting. And oh, it's nice that um, we have the, what's it called? The heart fade out and in whenever we die. And you know, we'll be seeing that quite a bit, so it's always nice. Ah, oh, I was like, wait a minute, I could just dash across and then, well, I didn't have my dash. When Madeline kind of like flies off screen, it's tough for me to gauge how far to the right she is. Oh, almost, almost, not quite though. Oh, that was way too high up. <laughs> Gotta go for that Goldilocks spot. First I was, uh. A little bit too low, then I was a little bit too high. This is gonna be right in the middle. Oh, almost. 
At least now I have a feel for how fast that's gonna move. Like how quickly I'm actually gonna be launched through there, assuming I do it right. Oh, almost. That was not correct. I, I lucked out there that I was even able to make it to that crystal in the first place. There we go. Oh, man. Okay, so I really need to err on the side of moving to the right there. Makes sense. A little bit too much speed. Didn't react in time. Okay. I didn't think I was going to make it through that. So, you know what? We'll, we'll take whatever progress we got there, because it was certainly outside my expectations. Okay. We're at least stable right now. Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's right. I was always under the impression I would get my... Yeah. I was under the impression I would get my dashes back, but we are in Chapter 8, and that... We don't have that luxury anymore. So that's why they, uh... What's it called? That's why they give you that crystal after that bumper. Because you will not be getting your dashes back. Ah, oh, that's way too high up. So I'll definitely need to be more conscious. I wanted to have the luxury of being able to, you know, kind of like dash into the side of them. Like I had been up until this point. Oh. Hmm. So now that I look at it, right? Let's think real quick. And replan. So once this bumper is here, I need to... I, think I need to hit the bumper on the side, get the crystal, and then bounce up once. Or dash up once, get on top of the bounce, or on the top of the bumper, and then fly to the right. And then I'll have to do the same where I hit it right on the right side, and then dash up, and then gain control of myself again on top of this bumper. And then hit this bumper on the right side to fly over to that side. So it's going to be a little bit tighter. I don't have as much to work with. But, I've got a plan now. Should have remembered that mechanic <laughs> before floundering in the moment. I was like, wait a minute, no, where did my dashes go? Um, that was not good. Can we take a second to appreciate the kind of like wavery effect just from all like the hot air? Aw oh, man, I'm very impressed by it. Did not quite have enough momentum. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that almost at the end of the game. Hmm, that was not far enough. Yeah, it's kind of crazy to think that we're getting pretty close to the end of the game. I don't know how long Chapter 9 is going to be. But I can't imagine it'll be, you know, like incredibly long. Aw. Oh, okay, so I definitely need to go straight up there. And hope I can, uh... Land on top of that. Because... I mean, what the old lady said before about, you know, getting attached to the struggle is very much true. It's not just the struggle, it's the progress you make and everything you learn along the way. Oh, I did the same thing! <laughs> I did the same thing. Here I am talking about learning along the way as I make the same mistake. Just a little bit of an extra lesson necessary to, to pass this class. Ah, uh, man, too high up. And thank you for the suggestions on which games to play next. I think something I'm going to try and do with the next series I play on the channel is have a couple alternating with uploads. I've done it before in the past, like with uh, Portal and... What else was going on with Portal? Corpse Party? No, it was Silent Hill, I think. Oops, I missed. But basically have one series uploading twice a week, one series once a week, 
just that way, you know, it keeps a variety of games that I'm playing, and it also has a variety of games for people to watch, um, because people's interests, at least on this channel, I think are pretty varied. When you look at the games I play, <laughs> there's like Super Meat Boy, and Celeste, and Pajama Sam, and Danganronpa, and Corpse Party, and Silent Hill, and, uh, you know, it, it ranges from visual novels to horror to really difficult platformers to really stylistic, you know, retro-esque games like VVV, VVV, and, you know, that sort of thing. So, having something for everyone, while of course all of those things are, you know, my things. Oh, no, I did it again! Darn. Um, so I'm, I'm happy with those, all of those things. Oh, I'm shocked I salvaged that. <laughs> why is that my, why is that my instinct? Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm more than happy to do that, but I think it might be more engaging for more people that visit this channel. So there might be a couple things that you run into <laughs> on the channel coming up. And there's certainly... Wow, I can't believe I missed the crystal there. That's a narrow window. Uh, there's certainly never a shortage of games to play. <laughs> that's for sure. Whether it's like the Resident Evil series or, you know, one of the numerous visual novel series out there. Or sequels to games, you know, series I've already started like Corpse Party or 999. Casually doesn't mention Danganronpa. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I'll actually play um, or read rather Dongrampa IF sometime soon. Oh man, that was a little bit too early. Probably not V3 anytime soon though. For those of you that didn't see the update video and are interested in it, which is probably not too many of those of you that are here, uh, I released an updated video asking for some opinions. Got a lot of great ideas. Um, unfortunately, it's going to be a waiting game, though. Alright, let's focus. Oh no, we were so close, guys! We were so close. Wow. Didn't expect to get too much momentum there. I think it's the first time I died that way. Why did I do it again? <laughs> What's happening? Muscle memory. I have to rely on you for something. Do you guys have any recommendations for games like Celeste, Super Meat Boy, BBB, BBB? I mean, I'm sure you guys do. I'm also definitely all ears. I have The Messenger. Um, that's something I want to play. You know, there's... They're, 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 this is definitely a genre that's grown over time, so if there are other really well-polished games like this, you know, there's stuff like I want to be the guy, obviously, but I'm not really... Oh, I just missed it! <laughs> I thought it was going to shift to the right into me. Um, I'm not really itching to play that game more than I already have, which I did play quite a bit of. Um, and it was, it was fun for a bit, but if you've heard various of, you know, rantings I've had up until this point, you probably understand reasons why it's not my absolute favorite way to play a game. All right. Climb, climb, climb. Nice, we have made it. And oh man, we're gonna have one of these levels. One of these levels. This is probably the long room that's gonna be the difficult one. Yep. Wow, and they're integrating, oh no, pink clouds, the, holy cow, look at this room, it never ends, it's still going, wow, <laughs> this room is huge, it never ends, and it's going to teach me a new mechanic right at the end too, wow. Alright, I guess. 
I, is there some checkpoint? It doesn't look like it. Is there a checkpoint? No, I don't think there's going to be. And wow, they're integrating so many different mechanics from the different chapters. Let's, let's try and look at this a little bit step by step. So clearly I start by jumping on this, letting it fling me all the way over here. I have to keep in mind, I may not be able to regain my dashes. I should probably check that first. Nope. <laughs> so that is that is good to know. And <laughs> the ceiling and the floor lava are gonna be moving back and forth. Wow, that's gonna be this is gonna be crazy, guys. So regardless, that's gonna fling me over here. I may or may not have to dash onto this. I probably will, and in doing so we'll need to hit that heart. Um, and then while that's going on, the bottom, the floor will be rising. So I'm gonna be getting closer to that as I'm platforming across this segment. Jump, 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 climb, that's probably gonna fall. Uh, jump and hit that switch, jump onto that. These are probably gonna fall. Wow, um, regain my, my dash, uh, dash to the right, or oh, to the up top right here, and then dash right and jump, and then dash right, hit the switch, jump, It'll be cold. I'll need to hit the bumper to go to the right. I, I should still have one of my dashes. And then land on this bumper, regain my dash, go over there, jump off of those really quickly, um, not actually getting the full height out of them. Land on this, let that fling me. Although, I don't think that's a motion sense one. That might be based on dash. If so, um, it's going to be pretty difficult, I think, to utilize fully. But regardless, I'll need to do that. Fling over this way, hit that switch again, wall jump up here really quickly, <laughs> run off, jump, dash, and then run to the right side of it, dash, hit that heart, cling onto this, presumably, fly all the way over here, it's gonna hit that little lip, and then I need to fling off. <laughs> oh my god, this is, this is such a long level, guys. Hit the switch, climb up, jump over, climb, jump over, climb, jump off, boing off the spring, maybe get my dash back, maybe not, cling, jump over, hit the switch, boing, cling, jump over, boing, get my dash back, maybe have to hit the switch with the dash I have, we'll see. And then a little dash segment where I get my dash back, right, up, right, up, right, up to hit the switch, fall down, right, up to hit the switch, right, up, and then up right, land on this, <laughs> cling to it, it's gonna fling me up right, I fly, I hit that, and then I hit that switch, and then I need to do what? Jump off of this or cling on to the right or something. Move really quickly is what I need to do. Um, and platform around this, cling to that, jump over it. Wow. Wow. Um, these will probably be frozen when I'm actually at them. And then this will be lava. And then I'll fly up here. And then I'll be at the end where I can hit that switch. And then I'll have to do the new mechanic where I like crouch, dash, jump, crouch, jump, or whatever. Once and then twice, then I get my dash back. And then I dash and get the crystal heart. Holy cow, guys. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I hope I hope you're ready to be here for uh, quite some time. Oh man! So already, do I need to be on the side of it or? I did not regain my dash. Hmm. Oh, and it's moving. Oh, there's not another platform to hit there. Useful. Okay, up we go. Oh, come on. Oh, and I did, I should have clung to that. I clearly was not doing that optimally though, so. I need to time that jump better. I need to wait a little bit more on that platform because otherwise I'm not 
gonna cling to that wall high enough. There we go. Darn, that's right, I need to go up right there. Okay. Oh no! I landed and I tried to dash, but then had to stop myself. I've really got to be on point with this timing. This is not a, a good run so far, but we're making the most of it. Oh no! Oh! Oh, that is... That is gonna be a real time crunch, guys. Holy cow. Oh. Yeah, that, that, that segment there. Also, holy cow. When I time that right, I get a lot more out of it. That was not a very good one. And it shows. Oh no! No! No, I had to go faster! <laughs> That's pretty good though, overall. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> I was not fast enough. So, something I am learning is that if I am moving as I jump off of that, I get a lot more out of it. Go, go, go! No! Ah, oh, man. That segment there, I think I need to just, just dash straight down. I think that's what I need to do. Okay. Oh no. That's not good. No. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. I got a boing! No! <laughs> that was good! That was good! I didn't react though! Come on, come on! Climb, climb! Climb, Madeline, I believe in you! Ooh. So, something I'm at least seeing is that it looks like the uh, the springs, I think, restore my, my dashes. Or maybe just my stamina, at least. which is really helpful. Oh no. Yeah, that was that was not good. That was uh that was a save for sure. Go, go, go. Okay. There's like, it's tough to describe, but when you hit the heart switch, there's like a split second hesitation by the game. 
it like slows down for like maybe a few frames and it's really difficult <laughs> for me to pinpoint it but believe me it's there oh that was not good that was <laughs> that was not my best and I feel like that little hesitation is what's tripping me up right now I don't know why I did a a jump there. Okay, oh, no. I was not on top of the platform yet before I tried to jump. Up we go. No! Okay, up. Well, I guess that works. Not really what I had in mind, but we, uh, we take those. Go, go, go! Okay, up you go. Okay. Almost. Wow. Did you guys see that? I am shocked that did not count as a death for me. Holy cow, I was like in the blue there. No, no, climb! Aw, oh, this is so, so rip. Ugh. Alright, so at least it seems I've found a more reliable strategy for this opening part. Rather than try to climb up, I can just jump off of the platform before I'm even done. Okay. Climb, you will. Oh, wait, what? No! That was a lot closer than it needed to be. Ooh. So... It's pretty clear they're not spaced to be, you know, like, proper dashes. They're going to force you to hesitate a little bit. But I am I am looking forward to that part. I do enjoy those segments, generally. <laughs> Got a little bit too much distance there. Okay. Here we go. Gotta go fast. There we go. Oh no! That was a complete screw up. But we're making the most of it, guys! I am shocked I'm alive right now. Oh man! That second spring! That second spring, or technically the third. I feel like that's the toughest one of those three, at least. That was kind of makeshift, but hopefully it works. Oh wait, what? No! Madeline, come on! This little segment there is giving me so much trouble. Probably a lot more than it should be. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, we were so close, guys. We were so close. Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? I did a jump when I should not have. Alright. Whoa. The game, like, slowed down slash lag there. It's doing it again. It's 
kind of weird. I mean, I don't have like a super crazy gaming computer or anything like that, but certainly no slouch. There have been other times during this playthrough, though, where it's happened, so wouldn't be completely surprised. Okay. Wait, what? What? Oh, what a stupid way to die. <laughs> Oh, wait, no! That's not how it's supposed to work! <laughs> Darn it. I had to keep going with it, though. For my honor. Alright. Here we go. Oh, we gotta go fast, guys! We gotta go fast! Oh, what? <coughs> that was, uh, that was weird spacing. I think it was because I was more on the, like, left end of the platform there as it, I was dashing. That the spacing just didn't quite work out. Okay. Oh man. So part of what's weird about it, right, is that it seems like for landing on that second spring, you don't really need to do a lot of aerial adjustment in order to land on it. But for the third one, you definitely do. Why does that happen? Why does that happen? That makes me so sad. I'm sure it's because I'm hitting a different direction on the D-pad before I'm actually jumping off. So, it's not like the game is broken or anything like that. No! Okay, now, now it kind of seems like I'm just slipping off. Alright, well, we'll see what we can do. No, I missed the thing. We'll chill for a moment. <laughs> what is interesting is that that at least shows that you do have a moment, right? Where you can really be like touching the lava or the blue or whatever it may be before you actually die from it <laughs> like just a few seconds ago. Oh man, I think I needed to wait a little bit longer there, maybe? Come on, come on! Here we go, guys. Wait! so close I used my dash and I screwed it up I used my dash we were two we were two of those like crouch dashes away from getting the crystal heart oh man that's a tough pill to swallow and I couldn't do it because I used one of my dashes just kind of panicking but they are gonna make me Utilize them each time I get them back. It's alright, we can do it. We can do it. That is proof that we can most certainly complete this level. I got a little impatient there. Jumped into the lava on the top of the screen. Alright. I think something that was interesting about that little um, run was the timing was different for this part in particular. 
Alright, let's go. Oh, I should have clung a little bit longer. I was there, guys. I was there, but I... Oh, man. That's rough. That's a tough one to accept. I was there, and I should have just waited longer. Alright. We can totally do this. So, for those of you wondering, I tried to wait a little bit more during that platforming segment so I didn't run into the same problem I did last time. And um, it seems I need to be a little bit quicker on those first few platforms that I cling to in order to maintain the momentum I want to have throughout it all. Um, so if I'm going to wait a little bit, it should be on that last platform is basically the takeaway. No, no, I didn't. <sighs> I didn't get a full jump out of it. But at the very least, we're pretty consistently making it to that point now, which is promising in and of itself. So that's at least good. <laughs> he says as he dies much earlier than he has the past few times. All right, let's go. We're so close. There's no doubt that I can do this. Well, maybe from some of you. No. <laughs> you know, it's not about just making it to the finishing line. It's about crossing that finish line, right? Can't be content with just getting to the final obstacle. I've got to actually overcome it. And we're almost there. Here we go. Okay, okay. It's time, guys. Oh, and I did the jump too early. I did the jump too early. I got nervous. My palms were sweaty, knees weak, arms were heavy. Oh man. We were there and I had the dashes. And I knew what to do. I just didn't do it. Oh no! No, that's the first time I've died that way. That's that's a disappointing one. I missed the crystal for those of you that weren't watching. I think that's definitely the first time I've done that on Yeah. That's the first time I've done that on this level. I've missed crystals in the past. And on other parts of the level. Oh that I took way too long with that. But we're living. I think that's the first time I've died that way, too. You know, I'm just trying to get it all out there, right? <laughs> trying to experience as much as I can in this level. Die in as many ways as possible. Alright, we're almost there.
Alright, it's showtime, guys. Oh, and I did it too early again! I knew it too, as I was like lining up. I saw it. I saw that I did the jump too early. Oh man, I even took a moment to like, kind of like collect myself. It's alright, we'll get there again. We'll do it. I'm feeling a lot more... <clears throat> nothing. You heard nothing. <laughs> But no, I am getting a lot more comfortable with the rest of the level. So I am more confident in our ability to at least get there and get those attempts in. Oh, that was not good. That was not good. We can make it happen, though. We can make it happen! I at least have figured out that that rock will not fall so long as the one below it is still there. can use that as a little bit of a, a safety net. Oh no. Okay, we're we're good. All right. Let's get a little bit closer. What? What? I made it onto the second platform, but What was Do I Is there a way I can control my height when doing those jumps? Is that what I need to do there? Cuz I thought I executed it well. Huh. Well, only one way to find out, right? We'll get back there. We'll keep trying. Wow, that was not how I expected that to go. Man, are we close. I thought that was it. When I got that second crouch jump off, I thought I'd done it. I thought I was gonna get to that next crystal and everything would be all all good to go. I was wrong. Oh man, I did not give myself a lot of leeway here. Yeah. And I need to be more careful about that stamina usage. Oh! <laughs> I hit Kling to climb up the rock that I was fairly confident wouldn't fall, but I must have hit it a little bit too early because then the rock that, well, I wanted to support the one I was most interested in, fell too. And, uh, that's not very helpful. <laughs> Yeah, so when I when I did die after the second crouch jump, it was as if I had gained a little bit too much height off of it. And I didn't realize that was something I could really adjust much. So we'll we'll see what I can do. I don't know what was going on there. I should have just clung for a little bit longer. That was really weird attempt because maybe you know it's it's very likely I just messed up the execution for example but maybe we do need to alter our the height of our crouch jump somehow oh that was bad um, like not hit the the jump button as hard I wouldn't be surprised if such a concept were a thing. Alright. Let's give it a go. Alright. It is time. So let's think real quick, right? So we've got to get close to the ledge. We've got to do one of our crouch jumps. We're going to land on that platform. We're not going to have a lot of time to think. 
but we're going to need to do another crouch jump and i think i'm going to need to tap the jump button a little bit less strongly a little bit more weakly and then i'll hit that crystal and then i'll be able to double dash towards the crystal heart Whew, here we go oh man <laughs> Oh man, so that was too weekly. But what did we learn, right? We learned that we can adjust the uh, the height there, which is important for making it through there. We're gonna have to go weekly, not quite as weekly as I just did though. And so hey, we learned something new. And we got further than we did before. We made it to the crystal. We just didn't quite have the momentum to make it past the crystal. <laughs> All right. So the levels seem a little bit high right now. Oh. <laughs> that was that was a bad mess up. Um, what I was going to say is that the levels seem a little bit high now, so I'm going to try and stall a little bit before landing on that last fire platform that'll launch us up. And this is definitely going to be a one level episode. <laughs> I was like, what if, you know, I finish this level early and then do I start chapter 9? But that's clearly not even uh, in the cards right now. Oh no! Why did I do that? Sorry, right. we'll, we'll make it work. Okay, let's go. Yeah, the levels seem a little bit high again, so I'm probably gonna have to wait a little bit at the end, but we'll worry about that when we're there. Okay, let's do it. Oh no! Oh my goodness, guys! Did you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness. So close, pixels away. Pixels away from dashing through the crystal heart. I dashed into it, into it, but it was after I had already gotten rid of my dash momentum, so I didn't break it. All right, you know what that means. It means I'm probably gonna have to crouch jump a little bit further and it also means I'm gonna have to be really really tight with spacing my dashes there man the game is really making me work for this you think at that point that you're you know home free but oh no you are not all right levels seem a little bit high again so we'll probably need to wait a minute. All right, here we go, guys. Darn, too much. Although I'm having a tough time deciding whether or not, it, it, am I doing like the too heavy of a jump there? Or am I not doing the proper jump? Did I do a regular jump instead of a crouch jump? because that's kind of the impression I got with that last one. And it's very a very real possibility. So I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Well, we're close. <laughs> I can say that without a doubt. We are certainly very close. Let's go. All right. Levels seem a little bit on the high end. Oh yeah. I should have waited even longer. Oh, 
<laughs> I missed the, the jelly. The dash jelly. I think that's the first time I've died that way. Again, experiencing all the game has to offer. <laughs> Okay, I will say, these platforming parts throughout the beginning of the level are really fun. I really like the design of this level. Oh yeah, the levels are high. Wait, what? Wow, I must have been right at the top there. That's all right, though. Almost there. Gotta stay focused. Can't take anything for granted at this point. Yes, I might have gotten a lot better at certain parts of the level, but that doesn't mean any of them have gotten easier. <laughs> they are still formidable foes worth respecting. was not good. That was not good either. But you know what? We still made it work. Alright, let's do this. Let's go! I think I was doing the wrong type of jump before. <sighs> Chapter 8, Seaside complete! Oh, man. Oof. The dopamine. The rush. <laughs> the accomplishment. The pride. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. And I do think I, I do think I was doing the wrong type of jump before. I was messing up the crouch jump. Because I did a full crouch jump there and Well, it worked. Wow. So we've completed the seasides. To Madeline. Wow, you did it! Variants are now accessible from the file select menu. Variants? What are variants? Huh. So, wow, and I think we died more on chapter 7, actually. Oops, nope, that's the epilogue. Yeah, we died more on chapter 7, interestingly enough. So with that, we have completed chapters 1 through 8 in their entireties. I guess I should put a little asterisk, because we haven't done the golden strawberries, but in their entireties. <laughs> um, I'm curious as to what the variants are. I think... We took long enough with that level that we probably won't start Chapter 9 in this episode, but that seems to be the next big thing, is Chapter 9, seeing where the story goes, what they are going to teach us in here. I don't know how big of a chapter it is, but I'm sure it'll have plenty to look forward to. Other things that come to mind now. Should I look into this variance section of the menu? Should I do the Pico 8? Is the Pico 8 something you guys would want to see in an episode? I know I did, like, almost all of it in one of the earlier episodes. Um, but, yeah, uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. Also, where is the, where's the variants? Variant mode? What does variant mode do? I thought it was going to be like, a, oh, like, you start a level and then... They show, like, oh, next to the seaside is, like, the variant side or something. You know, for the time being, I'd imagine they're sort of, like, remixes of the levels. Oh, and our, our like, passport keeps <laughs> keeps getting more embellished, right? We've got all these crystal hearts shown. We have our total deaths and our total time. But look at the, the you know, the postcard or the slip or sleeve or whatever it is itself. It's got all the strawberries, it's got all of the, it's got a yellow heart now from all the seasides, it's got the B-side cassette, it's got the crystal hearts, it's got the summit. Uh, that's that's a really nice touch I didn't notice before. But yeah, so that'll be my, my question to you guys is what is variant mode? Um, is it something I should look into? Is it something you guys would want to see? Is the Pico 8 something you guys want to see as well? Otherwise, uh, we'll chug along with chapter 9. And then we'll consider the Golden Strawberries, whether or not I want to try to play through a bunch of these levels again, um, just doing them deathless. I'll need to look into what exactly it is. It's like from the very start of the level, going through without getting any deaths, I believe. And so, 
for me, it also depends on how quickly you can like retry these things. And I know that some of these levels are really long, so I don't know. We'll see. I know that a lot of them are going to be a lot easier with some of these mechanics now. <laughs> so um, maybe it'll be interesting to revisit them with everything we've learned throughout all of the game, plus the B-sides, plus the C-sides, and uh, Chapter 8, obviously. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope you guys feel that rush of accomplishment that we've now made it through uh, Chapter 8 with me and are looking forward to Chapter 9. But until then, this is Moon Knight Zero, and this mission is complete.